Hey guys, welcome. Today we're going to talk about reading a glaze recipe. It's going to be a quick video, and this glaze recipe is taken from John Britt's book on mid-range glazes, a must-have if you work in electric with electric kilns. So this is one of my favorite glazes called Jen's Juicy Fruit, and as you can see on this page, there's seven different um, glazes on one page, but the main thing to reading a glaze recipe is look at the black line under a certain number of elements that will be a black line and there might be a few below that black line. Everything above the black line equals 100%. If you add up everything in that column, all the elements up until the black line, that equals 100%. Now let me show you how to convert that to different size buckets. Okay, so I've just written out the basic recipe here on column D. And you can see the elements in column B and then the percentages in column D. So if, if column D equals 100%, everything above the black line, then 100 grams would be that same number. So column F is basically a carbon copy of column D if I was making a 100 gram batch. Well, who makes a 100 gram batch except to maybe test a test tile or something? It's a very small batch, so you don't need... Column D, column F is not really useful to us, but what I do is column G, when I want to make up a test batch of something, I'll usually do 300 grams. And 300 grams fits in a small Tupperware about like this, or it could fit in a small bucket about like this. That's a one quart bucket. Now, this is really only useful for glazing very small things. If you're dipping uh, test tiles, I use these little shot glasses. More commonly, I use a bucket about this size or a Tupperware about this size. And I'll usually, when I'm doing that, I'll either mix up 500 grams or 2,000 grams of dry material. I would say most of my glazes are in this range, the 500 to 2,000 gram range. So 10,000 grams is five gallons. 10,000 grams of dry material fits in a five gallon bucket. I really only have, you know, between three and five of these going at a time. These are my white mats. These are my clear glossies that I use all the time. These are my liner glazes, maybe one or two colored glazes of a color that's selling really well. So I would use this size bucket, a regular five gallon bucket for 10,000 grams. Okay, that's all there is to it. So you can put any recipe you want in column B and then the percentages in column D and it will add up how much you, of each element you need it for each of these sizes of buckets. If you found this Excel file helpful uh, and you want to download it either as an Excel file or as a Google document, a Google sheet, uh, click the link below and grab that for free. All right, thanks guys.